Modic 2.0's dashboard has been significantly overhauled. You now have access to better reports, as well as the ability to customize every element on this dashboard page. You have multiple columns available to you, multiple reports, and you can pick and choose which ones you want and where you want them. So for instance, I can click and drag lifetime cycle above stages in time. I can completely remove stages in time and I can move the contact map above it. You'll notice now I've got a bit of a hole, not a problem. Click edit and change the width to 100%. It's as easy as that. Now here on my top list, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to come down and look at these email reports. I don't need dwell times on this particular site, so I'm just going to remove it. And then I can quickly just edit this to be 25% and move it up next to the other one. Change the height. And there we go. So you can mix and match. What about new reports? Well, there's a ton of those as well. If I click Add Widget, I can see all the different types of widgets I can add. Recent activity, downloads in time, unique versus repetitive downloads on my assets, popular assets, created assets, campaign widgets, events triggered, leads added, emails in time, ignored versus read, most sent emails, most read emails, that's a pretty good report, form widgets, who's filled out my forms, contact widgets, and then again, as I mentioned in another video, lifetime cycle is a really important new report based on stages. The map, page widgets, point widgets, report widgets, and then the stages in time widgets, which I've already shown you. So a ton of new widgets. Mix, match, explore to your heart's content. Find the exact balance for you, and you'll have a wealth of information at your fingertips. One more great thing I'll show you about the dashboard just before we leave is the global date filters here at the top. You can click in a date, choose any date you want, click apply, and get the reports immediately updated. Another kind of cool thing, but it's a little tricky, is you can just place your cursor here and use the mouse wheel to change the date. Notice I'm changing by month pretty quickly just by scrolling a little bit. Of course, if you go too far ahead, uh, your reports will fail. So just go back to the right date, click apply, and you're all set to go. The completely overhauled dashboard will give you a wealth of information, completely customizable for whatever you need it to be.